Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with a very special installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you as always by Moor DC. This is the promised part two of a mini series, Getting Ready for Pesach. I filmed one yesterday back in Silver Spring. I'm filming one today. Hope to do another one. And the point is to just stop and think about some of the beautiful and deep ideas of the holiday so it can be more meaningful and real an experience, Seder nights and all eight days of Pesach. I filmed yesterday, speaking of real, I still filmed yesterday at home. Now I'm at the campus of GW. How fitting, that's hot sun beating down on me, bricks in the background, echoes of ancient Egypt and our slavery there. <laughs> but I'm not gonna build bricks with you. I'm gonna build spiritual bricks with you today um, in our few minutes together. Yesterday I talked about the connection of springtime to the idea of Pesach, the rebirth, the renewal in the natural world and of us as a people. We were taken out miraculously by God. We were on the, the edge of destruction, but we, had, we were the comeback kids. We came back, Hashem brought us back to freedom. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, freedom. What is freedom? How does it connect to Passover? And this is not an abstract philosophical discussion. The Seder, we know, is not abstract or philosophical. It's tangible. There's matzah, there's wine, there's discussions. Um, it's real. Judaism is real and experiential. And if anything, Seder more so than other things. It says in the Haggadah itself, in every generation, one is obligated to see oneself as if he or she left Egypt. What does that even mean? See yourself as if you left Egypt. Not a simple point. It takes thought. All of, I mean, we're not going to answer it in three and a half minutes, but think about it. To personally leave Egypt. Well, what does it mean to leave Egypt? 3,300 years ago, our ancestors were in a physical bondage. It was horrible. And God took them out miraculously with signs and wonders. Well, I'm not connected to that physical redemption. No, we are. As it says in the Haggadah, had Hashem not taken us, taken us out, we weren't getting out by natural means or geopolitical strategies. Certainly, if we had gotten out, it wouldn't have been at all connected to our ancestral faith. So we can truly see ourselves as if we left Egypt because we are here today alive as Jews because of that physical redemption from slavery. But there's another level of freedom, not just physical freedom, there's spiritual freedom. You'll say, Rabbi, it's, that's, that's metaphorical. It doesn't, no, no, it talks about that directly in the Seder. Right after we mentioned being slaves to Pharaoh in, in Egypt, it says, originally our ancestors were idol worshipers, but now the omnipresent one, now, that we're now, not then, now the omnipresent one has brought us near to his service. In other words, yes, on Pesach, there's the idea of going from physical bondage to physical slavery, but there's spiritual bondage to spiritual slavery. And it mentions there that the Jewish people, our ancestors were idol worshippers, were idol worshippers, Abraham's father. And, and we as a people have gone on the journey from idol worship to monotheism, to serving the one God. It's relevant to the Passover story, story too, because we fell back into idolatry in Egypt. We were affected by the powerful pagan civilization, polytheistic world of Egypt. But it affects us now, because even though we don't have maybe physical idols, we have things that act as idols and idolatry in our lives. In other words, things that block us from truly expressing our Judaism, from truly connecting to God, other false idols that, 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 that claim our loyalty, our inner allegiance, our, our energy. That's the idolatry that we have to struggle against. And that's the personal journey of Egypt, the personal journey of Pesach, to see yourself as if you left that all behind and are elevated to a new opportunity to connect to who you really are. 